Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fade out your vocals or any audio tracks, to be honest, in FL Studio 20. If you need to fade out a specific track, into another track or just because it's getting too loud or you want to adjust the volume a little bit or maybe you just want to get rid of the end of a certain vocal line and you don't want to fade out the entire song then this video is going to help you out a lot okay now if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter Ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online marketing and online business this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now let's get straight into this let me actually put on my headphones because we will need that for this video all right so here we are in a song that i created a while ago well i need to actually change the audio settings right about now because they're too low let's quickly show you what you need to do so in order to fade out vocals i'm going to quickly show you what you need to do then i'm going to actually go through it and give you an example and record a vocal line and show you how it's done so this is a part of this vocal line all you need to do is click this button in the top left of the audio file then you need to go to automate and then you can automate the volume and then as you can see, I can now fade this out. I can press the right click to add another bump here or point and then fade it out right there and do whatever need be. Wow. But the thing with this is, okay, yes. The thing with this is it actually creates an automation clip which then overlays over your actual audio so it's smart to have some tracks nearby that you can move this automation clip onto otherwise it's going to be very hard to either click on the audio or the automation clip because they're both in the exact same spot so here we've got a fade into this but obviously you won't be able to hear it because there's no actual audio in this specific pot so let me move this back up this isn't even necessary to be there but there's another way to do it and i'm going to show you both ways the other way to do it you can only do it if you're crossfading in that it's the crossfade with thing but you can only do it if you're crossfading into another audio file and it seems a bit finicky because it's not letting me crossfade into this and this has now become a unique audio file so i don't know what's going on there so let's actually come over here and record something new shall we all right let's load, load everything, everything up. up and we'll just record something really straightforward yeah 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 i'm just recording something straight straight forward we're just recording examples to do stuff too blah blah <laughs> so let's listen back to this yes. yeah 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 i'm just recording something straight straight yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just recording something straight, straight forward. We're just recording examples to do stuff too. Blah, blah. Okay, some of that's in the wrong key or whatever. Obviously, they didn't have a backing track. That 92 CPU, you gotta chill out, man. Chill out. That's getting too wild for me. I don't like seeing that. All right. So, we're gonna do a bit of a fade here. Let's actually. Let's just do a fade a quarter of the way through, okay? So let's actually go to automate and we'll first do this. So we'll create a whole new automation clip and then we'll move it to another channel like so. And then we'll just fade out and we'll add another point. Oh, nope. It's actually added a point. Ah, it's obviously it's, it's snapping to the grid. So if I hold alt, I should be able to move this wherever I want it to be. So that's how you 
snap things where you want them to be. So use Alt. I'm holding Alt and clicking with the left click, and that allows me to basically move everything exactly where I want it to be. So let's play this, and it should fade out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just recording something straight. So as you see, it faded out. Now the next method is to actually crossfade. So let's click this button and let's go to crossfade with, and as you can see, it's not actually letting us crossfade with anything. So if we make this unique, it should give us the opportunity to crossfade with this other audio, but that's not happening either. Okay, so I realized why the crossfade wasn't working. The reason why it wasn't working is because I did not cross this audio file into the other audio file. So after you've made this unique, the next thing you need to do is actually bring it, bring this audio file to conflict with the audio file you want to crossfade into. So now we can press the top left button and go to crossfade with, and now we can actually crossfade it with this and we'll create an automatic crossfade right here. So if you play this back, this is a new test vocal by the way, cause I had to open the project again while editing, but let's play this back. You'll see that it crossfades into the other audio. New test, new test. New test, new test, new test. I just got a new test. You can't even tell. You can't even tell, mainly because it's the exact same vocal line and the crossfade is just executed very well. But if we got rid of this crossfade, you should hear the vocal line just double up over so you can hear the difference now. Let's play this back. New test, new test. New test, new test, new test. I just got a... So you see how right there, it just got louder that's because both audio tracks were in the same place so the reason why you'd want to crossfade something into another track is if you're punching in your vocals for example you're recording line by line you can crossfade into another audio track to just make that transition a whole lot smoother to make it not as obvious that you're recording line by line so that's how you get crossfades to work it actually needs to overlap another audio track and it doesn't need to overlap by this much you can make it less than that that's a more reasonable crossfade <laughs> and then you'll see a small crossfade like that so that's how crossfades are done but using the automation feature is basically what you need to do and another way to do it if you don't want to click this button is you just go in here click this go to right click and go to create automation clip and then here you go but it makes it a big large automation clip which is a bit annoying honestly it's just much easier to go here like click the top left go to automate click volume and then they wow didn't want that to happen click volume and then you'll get a small automation clip that basically fits the size of the clip that you're working with and that's how you fade out vocals in FL Studio. They don't have like a normal fade out button or crossfade button that I expected to be in here, but you can do it using automations like I've just shown you. So just to recap, you want to click on the top left icon of the audio file. Then you want to go to automate. Then you want to go to volume and then that will create the automation. Then you want to drag that automation to another track because if you don't, it's gonna be very hard for you to control this automation, like create points and all that sort of stuff and control the audio at the same time because you might need to cut things from audio or what have you. So it's very smart for you to have another track so that they're not overlaying each other because if they do, it's just gonna make it very hard for you to make edits down the road because the system might think that you're trying to click on the audio. Look, I'm here pressing the right click button or it might think that you're trying to click on the automation when you're trying to click on the audio. So make sure that you do that to prevent um, annoyances in the future. Now, I really hope that this video doesn't mess up because of my CPU, because my CPU is just out of here for some reason, like sometimes, but sometimes it's not. Since you made it through to the end of this video, I do have a very special gift for you. That gift is five of my best beats for absolutely free that you can use to actually make money from. You can upload your songs to Spotify and all other streaming services. You're getting five basic licenses, which usually cost around $30 for absolutely free. 
click the link in the description or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats and you'll find out more information about that. Just follow the instructions on the page that it takes you to, but definitely go and grab those ASAP. And my question of the day is what is your vocal mixing chain? What effects are you currently using on your vocal mixing chain right now? I think that would be very, very interesting for both me and other viewers. So definitely leave that in the comment section down below. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. I am so happy and excited to help you with your music and make more videos for you. So definitely let me know what you want me to make content on. And in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.